everyone, this is your captain speaking. Welcome to the DHC Network, and today we are back with another Let's Play song, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And last time we pretty much began the introduction, knowing about the deal and meeting uh, Cor uh, Colonel Cortez. So, so here we are at, at Rosenberg's office, and we're gonna do his missions right now. So, enough we talking. Let's I know you saw me. Don't get your go away. Killed. Anyways, enough we talking. Let's get straight to the gameplay, shall we? Let's go ahead and start um, the lawyer missions. Back alley brawl. Ah, well, I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it. Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slime ball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. Go to the Malibu Club and find Kent Paul. So Kent Paul, he's a very important character in this game. He appears in this game and if I'm correct, um, GTA San Andreas too, so the Malibu Club shouldn't be that this that far. And a little fun fact, the Malibu Club is actually based on the Babylon Club. The same club in the movie Scarface or in the video game Scarface The World is Yours, for those that don't know. Oh my god, my, my car's already starting to smoke. And I even dared to the club yet. And I guess we're here already. Okay, let's leave the car here and let's go ahead and pick, find Camp Paul. To the club. Oh yeah, there's gonna be copyright music, most likely. You pop up from. I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know why? I'm looking for some English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. Get lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. You Kent Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Guess another drink, bruv. Everybody's a comedian. Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Drugs, mate. It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. That's right, go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? <laughs> uh, Kent Paul's quite a character, man. Alright, go there and find the chef on a Ocean Drive. So, I'm gonna grab another car somewhere. Where can I find one? Ah, oh, there you go. There's like, plenty of cars back here. So, let's just grab one real quick. Okay, let's turn off the radio. I just hope we get one to level. Oh, there was a course. Oops. Damn, I was gonna look through the back of the camera. But anyways, I guess we're gonna find these chefs. If I'm correct, these are the guys that were who were the hitmen who ambushed that deal. So it kind of makes sense because if I'm correct. At this time, uh, these hitmen get regular jobs, so they no, there won't be no one would expect it. So, there's one of the chefs. Let's let's confront this guy. Hey, what you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. All right, here we go. On hand to hand combat. For and yeah, remember finding the brass knuckles behind the hotel. So I could have used regular fists, but oh well, I can't take them off. And let's get his cell phone. Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some too? 
Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. No need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Here, take this. Follow me. This way. I'm gonna kill them all. Come on. I found the shotgun not far from the beach, so I was gonna use the handgun, but. Knowing where all the gun locations are, memorized, I pretty much know where everything's at. So, this guy right here is um, Lance Vance. Very important character in the game. He was also in um, GTA Vice City Stories. One thing you gotta realize about this town, you gotta pack some heat. Look, gun shops a couple of blocks away. So, yeah, we're, we're going to the gun store where we're at. So, um. And he's pretty much. And his reason around this this investigation is because he, they killed um his brother from the beginning of that um from the introduction that guy was Vince Vic Vance the main character from GTA Vice City Stories and also when um when Lance said about the his dead white lady's friend or something like that he was talking about Luis another character from GTA Vice City Stories you know I never got a chance to play that game but one of these days I will but in the meantime we're just gonna keep I don't think there's no chance of playing it, so... And let's just stop by to the gun store. Stand in the pink marker to view the weapons on display. You can select weapons by pressing left or right on the directional button. If you have enough cash, you can buy weapons by pressing the X button. You can exit the shop by pressing the triangle button. There are eight different types of weapons. You can carry one of each type of weapon at a time. One type of pistol, one type of shotgun. Drive back to the hotel. Can I, can I buy something now? Oh, let me see. Okay, I need more assault rifle. I only, only found this one. But oh well, you know what? Let's let's exit. I think I'm good. Let's go drop Lance at the hotel. Yeah, it just it feels so weird playing this game again, especially in the year 2023. You know, there's a definitive edition. Like I said before, guys, I'm not gonna play the. I'm not gonna. I refuse to get the definitive edition. Hell no. Originals are just better. I'm gonna go see what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tommy. There you go. That's another mission down. 200 bucks. Not bad at all, so I guess we're gonna do another mission here, so let's go back and see Rosenberg. So I'll see you guys over there. Huh, looks like we got a phone call. Let's see who it is. Oh man. Hey, uh Leo, I think we got a buyer for Diaz's merchandise. Gotta give him a ring, man. Set up the deal, you, you know? Where are you now? You okay, Leo? You sound kinda different. Just tell me where you are. Who the hell is this? Put Leo on, man. Leo's gone away for a while. He left me in charge. Screw you, man. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who that was, but I haven't played this game in years, so, um... Anyways, let's go ahead and begin Rosenberg's next mission. Jerry Fury. Ah! Oh, oh, for God's sake, it's you! Oh, jeez! I'm gonna need new pants! Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that point oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look. It's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out. I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no. No! I tried that. The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. All right, more crap to wipe up. What did I do wrong in a past life? Ah! 
dumb Florida moron. <laughs> poor, the poor guy. So let's grab this hammer while I'm at it. I have a nice stick anyways. I'm eventually gonna get it back. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna imitate this jury. And met some I'm gonna take this car while I'm at it. Anyways, <laughs> when Tommy said dumb Florida moron, I think that aged pretty well because. If you guys think about it, a lot of bad things, a lot of things, dumb things happen in Florida, so it's kind of like not surprising. So let's grab the hammer and we're gonna destroy this guy's car. Yeah, this, this is all you gotta do is just, just damage this car. Maybe destroy it if I'm correct, or maybe you just gotta hit it a couple of times. If you want, you can use a gun too, but I'm just gonna use this hammer. Just because. I think this thing's about to smoke, anyways. Is there any cops around? Uh, no, I guess we're good. I wish I had a chainsaw, though. This would have been easier. When it comes to melee weapons, but a hammer should be fine. Yeah, it's about to smoke already. There you go. Innocent until I say otherwise. <laughs> That's funny. Anyways, on to the next juror. I would have grabbed a chainsaw though. Alright, on to the next one. I guess what's going on, I'm trying to remember what the lore of this game, but I think when it comes to other games like GTA Vice City Stories and Liberty City Stories, oh my god, I'm sorry about my driving, guys. It's just so weird driving in this game. I haven't played this game like forever. Oh my god, remember how much this side of town has so many cops. It's so annoying. Too many cops in this side of town. Meanwhile, the, uh, the mainland, there's not that much cops. See, there's like a lot of cops at this side. Dude! That was killer that cops' fault, not mine. There's a bribe around here somewhere. Let's get it. I don't want to deal with cops right now. Alright, that's the other juror. We gotta just we gotta damage this car too. Smash with the juror's car. So <clears throat> alright, let's take out the hammer once again. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it this way. I don't think I'm gonna do damage the whole entire thing until it starts smoking. That was destroy the hood while I'm at it. Why not? Yeah, there goes the windshield. I can't believe this is happening. Not guilty. Understand? Good. Ah! <laughs> there you go. Oh, that was still kind of funny. So, anyways, um, I guess the end of that mission, we gotta pay 400 bucks. So, I think we're gonna get, we should get a phone call by then, if I'm correct. But, anyways, let's go to let's go to Ken's office again. Alright, there's the phone call. Just uh, just expect it. Let's answer it. Hey, Tommy, it's Sunny. How's the suntan? I ain't got no suntan. We ain't got my money either, so I'm wondering to myself. What are you doing? So tell me, tell me, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style, because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Yeah, so that was Sonny again, so... We're looking for his money, so anyways... Let's go begin. I think it's the final Rosenberg mission, if I'm correct. Let's do it. Riot. Avery goes without saying. Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 no. Tell me later. Tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party. Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> that 
when we got other things on our mind. I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay. What could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should. Stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. <laughs> I just love that when we hear that dialogue. So, so that guy, that cowboy guy, is Everton. Uh, I mean, Avery Carrington. Oh man, yeah, he's a very, very interesting character. He appears in this game, and if I'm correct, GTA Liberty City Stories. And he also voiced by Brett Reynolds, who passed away back in, um, I think it was in 2021 or 2020, somewhere at that time. Yeah, I made that mad. He was a good voice actor. And speaking of voice actors, um, it's pretty obvious. Tommy Versetti, he's voiced by, um, Ray Lorietta. Oh, damn, I butchered his name. I'm so sorry, guys. He passed away, uh, mid-2022, so he was, he was also known for Goodfellas. So anyways, let's let's get our clothes changed. Yeah, we got some overalls on, so let's go ahead and make our way to the Let's go ahead and make our way to the little factory or where are we going to the depot? There we go. Man! I didn't do nothing, stupid cops! Oh my god, the cops think I do everything, which is not my fault. That guy was jaywalking. Oh my god, I've heard that. I've not heard that pedestrian quote in so long. Yo, you my way, dog. <laughs> I heard, that's so funny. I just, I just can't right now. We should be almost there in the depot right now. It's somewhere right here, if I'm correct. Yeah, this the place. What was this place called? Um, Sp Span Express. So here we go. We're here. Start fighting at least four workers. Get a ride started. So let's go ahead and do this thing. That's two. There you go. I want to beat up these little security guards. If you take out someone who's holding it, they'll drop it. You can target and shoot barrels by keep your distance. I'm gonna grab this pistol. Whoops, my bad. Alright, that's two trucks down. Well, I got these. You know what? Let's take out something. Let's take out the shotgun. Alright, it should start exploding right now. There you go. Let's get out of here. And I'm gonna drop this grenade. Two stars? Me. What like the hell did I do? And I guess the ride's over already. Well, I had to deal with my with the cost with this part, so I guess we'll wrap it up right here. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs like, you hear my subscribe. This is Grand Theft Auto Vice City Part Two, Ken Rosenberg. So as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, and welcome to the DH Network. This is your captain speaking, signing out.